I greet you in Jesus' precious name. I want to speak to you on the subject today of repentance. Martin Lloyd-Jones, that famous Welsh preacher, said Christianity starts with repentance. You've got to say sorry. If you are not convicted that you're a sinner, what do you, why do you want to give your life to Jesus? <laughs> you see, if you, well, well, because my friends did. No, no, that's not good enough. Well, because my mom and dad wanted me to. No, that's not good enough. You give your life to the Lord because you can't go on in your own strength anymore. So you repent of your sins and you ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life. You see, remorse is to be sorry, but repentance is to be sorry enough to stop. When you give your life to Jesus and you're born again, you actually fall in love with the Lord, don't you? So therefore, we must stop living the old lifestyle. You can't say I'm born again, but you beat up your wife every Friday night when you're drunk. See, that is not acceptable. You have to repent. Stop it. Okay, and start living the life that God expects you to live. If you're wasting your money gambling, you've got to stop gambling. I can't. You can. You just don't want to. So then, you, then we need to question your salvation. See? Jesus says you shall know them by their fruit. See? Jesus says a good tree produces good fruit and a bad tree produces bad fruit. I've been walking with the Lord a long time, and I want to tell you, even up until now, there's still things that the Holy Spirit reveals to me that I need to repent of. And that's how we grow in the Lord. See? So grace and repentance work together. One on either hand. You can't have one without the other. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.